This is a very common physics question. A mass of 10 kilograms is dropped from a height of 20 meters. Ignoring air resistance, what is the maximum speed it reaches? This is another typical kinematics question that you should be able to recognize just by reading the question. But there are, you know, four main kinematic equations that you should just know off the top of your head. And each of them is missing one variable or at least one variable. And so we're going to talk about, you know, like what, which one to use and like when, right? So for example, look at what we're given. We're given the mass, right? But mass is kind of irrelevant. That's just kind of to trick you. It's not going to affect anything here. But we have the height, 20 meters. The height is the same as x. x just refers to like distance, right? So distance can be like this way. It could be this way. You know what I'm saying? So x is going to be one of our variables. We have 20 meters. And then that's like, that's it, right? That's all we're given. So there's one more thing though, that it's not in the question itself, but like you should be able to infer it from this, that our initial velocity, that's what V0 means. Initial velocity is going to be zero because it doesn't say that it was, you know, um, already moving. It's saying that it was dropped. So when it starts dropping, right when it starts, it's at zero meters per second, and then it increases in whatever based on the acceleration. So we're given X and V0. Another thing that might not be quite apparent is that we're also given acceleration because we're just dropping it, right? So acceleration is just going to be gravitational acceleration, which is 10 meters per second. So look what we have, X, V0, and A. Which one can we use? We can use this one right here because this is what we're looking for, final velocity. So X, V0, A, and V, which one? This is the best one, V squared equals VL squared plus 2AX. So we can start with, you know, V squared equals, this is going to be 0 squared, which is 0, plus 2 times 10, which is A, times X, which is 20. And then we're going to get V squared equals 400. And then you just square root this, and then you're going to get V equals 20, and then it's just meters per second. So that is going to be interest B.